I cannot believe we are letting Farrell do another YouTube video. Neither can I. <laughs> that smile's a bit creepy, if I'm paid. <laughs> Basically, he's got a bit of a potty mouth, our friend Farrell, which makes editing the videos um, a little bit time consuming. So if you could try and tone it down. Oh, why am I telling you this? <laughs> You're just going to be even worse now. But if you could tone it down a little bit, I'd appreciate it. I'll f try. There, there, we go. there we go. <laughs> exactly the response I expected. Anyway, <laughs> Farrell, have you heard of something called the Mandela Effect? I, I, I've heard of it, yeah. Um, I, I, I watched one of your previous videos. And ah. Uh, well, Oh, that's where the view came from. <laughs> Just one. Well, for those that don't know about it, basically the Mandela effect, it came from uh, a lot of people remembering that Mandela died in prison, but actually he died many years later. And so people are really confused as to why some people have one memory, whilst other people have a different memory. And some people even say like, oh, well, Mandela definitely died in prison. I saw it on the news or I studied it at school. And um, so the theory is that there are parallel universes that kind of entwine with each other. And it makes some people remember certain things one way and other people another way. Now, I would like to stress that most of the comments on our previous two Mandela videos comment on me saying Mandela wrong. So I'm going to try my, apparently I keep going Mandela or Mandela, <laughs> I don't know, read the comments. I've got but to I'm, say, you did sound very camp. <laughs> I, 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 I never picked up on it personally. Well, I'm going to try my best to say it correctly in this video. But I've Maybe got... that's the Mandela effect in itself, people yes! remember it how it says. Exactly, yeah. I've been saying it right all along, it's, but anyway. <laughs> so this isn't a competition, it's more a social experiment to see how you guys both remember certain events throughout history. Um, cool. With the first one being a, a real historic moment, the popular household air freshener Febreze, spell it for me. And you guys at home, give this a go as well. So the popular household air freshener Febreze. F-E-B-R-E-E-Z. Yes. I, I, I went, yeah, F-E-B-R-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. Because of the whole, it's playing on my mind, this is a Mandela <laughs> Effect video, that I nearly put the E on the end and I decided not to. Do you guys think you've spelt it right? I think he's got it more right than me looking at it. But because it's Mandela effect, I'm thinking none of us are. So when you say more right, <laughs> <laughs> basically, let me put more you right than me. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of you have spelt it correctly. Ooh. It does have an e at the end, but it has always just had the one e towards the end there. Oh. But that's just for Brez. <laughs> And that's, that's how it's always been spelled. It's, Google it's, it if you don't believe me. It's for breast. F-E-B-R-E-Z-E. -E. Okay, so interesting start. So already the Mandela effect has taken its toll. But it's for breast. Oh, <laughs> that's just for breast. So here we go with our next one. Sarah Jessica Parker, she stars in a TV show that sees characters Carrie, Charlotte, Samantha and Miranda having a lot of sex in New York City. <laughs> right down the name <laughs> of that TV show. Okay. I'm feeling quite confident on this. Okay. Because uh, Kim Cattrall, oh, I watch that show for her sometimes. What have you got then, Ray? I've gone with Sex and the City. Sex in the City. One of you is wrong, obviously. See, I thought it was Sex in the City, but because it's the Mandela effect, I thought, no, I'm going to Sex and the City. <laughs> Don't think about it too oh. much. Go with what you generally believe the answer to be. Just do what I think and just don't think. <laughs> See, I, I, if don't this, think. this for me, this fits, and that's why I've gone for it. If I thought about it as the Mandela effect and that title didn't fit, I wouldn't have done it. It is Sex and the City. However, Ooh. not only do a lot of people remember it being Sex in the City, People have even taken pictures of merchandise that says Sex in the City, but it has never been that apparently. The Rubik's Cube is one of the best selling toys of all time. Spell it for me. As I'm writing it, bigger and just another little I've got a bad also. feeling I've added uh, a, an extra letter. Okay. 
Ooh. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have had the C in it. I can confirm you shouldn't have added the C in it, but that's fine, that's pretty close. Um, a lot of people, again, would say Rubik's. It has never been called that. It is Rubik, named after the guy that invented it. It was never Rubik's. Well, that's just a stupid so, name. So, 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 yeah, I, I got it right then. <laughs> Amazing. There's no C. There's no C. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I crossed it out. You got it right, Jura. <laughs> Did the yeah. Mandela effect just happen before <laughs> our very own eyes? Amazing. Um, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are popular characters from Alice in Wonderland. Now, I'm sure you haven't seen this film in a long time, but try your best to draw their hats. So, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are popular characters from Alice in Wonderland. Draw for me their hats. And if you're looking for more examples of the Mandela effect, this is actually the third video that me and Ro have done. Uh, there's some really spooky examples of this in our first two videos, so make sure you check them out. Ro going into a lot of detail here. So right, let's see uh, your pictures then. So right, well, the bottom one is just a magnified version of the top one. Um, it's got the little twiddly thing on top, which I'm starting to think maybe should have had four propellers instead of two. <laughs> That's not uh, what I'm looking out for, don't worry. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, like that. I went for the one with the, 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 the pink. Oh, we've basically gone the same. It's interesting you've gone for a propellers. A lot of people would have done the same thing. Apparently, it has never been propellers. Instead, it's green flags. What? That's, no, he's not, no, no. that's what the internet says. No. It is green flags, not propellers. It never has been, and yet you've both drawn it, which is quite creepy. And I will feel very stupid if someone turns around and says, like, here's a picture, it's a propeller. But it's interesting it's you both put that. No, 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 apparently not. <laughs> Next time. I up. almost swore, almost, <laughs> almost affected the editing. <laughs> Can you f not, please? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Draw for me. <laughs> The Volkswagen logo. So the VW logo. Draw for me the Volkswagen logo. Did you look at my picture of it, didn't no, you? No, I didn't know. I'm just thinking, no. I, I'm just thinking mine looks wrong. No, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show them Rose's picture. It looks basically one of those looks like one of those doctor machines that um, has the heartbeats on it. That's beautiful. Man. Again, if you guys at home have been victim of the Mandela effect, comment below. I'm really I, I love stuff like this. Mysteries, conspiracies. I wanna know what your thoughts are. Let's have a look. I think we've gone quite similar. No, no, it looks wrong. Um okay. They're both quite similar, but both very wrong. <laughs> can, I, can I show you my first one? <laughs> my first one had, I've crossed it out, but it had the V next to the W. That was my first four. Where, whereabouts is the V on this one? You've got the V, W. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was yeah. the first four, and then I thought, no, that doesn't look right at all. Okay. It doesn't look well, like Well, let me yeah. tell you no. this. The VW logo is a V with the W underneath it. However, most people do them attached to each other, whereas there has always been a gap between them. Maybe, and these are just completely off. Maybe, maybe the makers started off with that and then thought our idea was better, <laughs> although it wasn't our idea at the time. I, I'm just fascinated that you've drawn something similar for I, I might be thinking of the crown on top of the Saab lion. Okay, like maybe, okay. I, I, I'm, oh. I'm making excuses. Either way, you're wrong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, almost, we've got just a couple more. There is a famous portrait of Henry VIII holding what item of food? Write down that item of food. Now, I can't, I can kind of imagine the picture. I can't imagine or think of what food he was holding. I know what people are expecting us to put. What do you think they're expecting? I think they're expecting some sort of like chicken drumstick or massive like turkey or something. Okay. Like turkey. Okay. Uh, Why do you think that? Because he's known for having big banquets. As a result, I've not gone for that. And I've gone for something where it could be, it's feasible, but probably not right. So I'll just put in a bunch of grapes. Okay. Mr. Farrell? I've gone for chicken slash lamb slash mutton leg, possibly. 
Okay, the answer I was looking for was turkey leg, oh, even gosh. though, even though you're not far off, but yet any of those kind of answers would have been wrong. Damn. Because even though that portrait has been used in pop culture references uh, for many, many years, that portrait does not exist. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And finally, draw for me the cartoon character, Curious George. The monkey. Farrell, you know of uh, Curious George? I do. Yes, I watch him regularly. Okay. By myself. <laughs> I want the full body as well, if possible, Mr. <laughs> Farrell. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. No, no, on the same piece of paper. On the same piece of paper. Oh, of he's basically drawn a massive head on his page. I want the full body <laughs> on that piece of paper. No, no, no. What if I draw this body separately? <laughs> no, 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 it can be out of proportion, that's fine. I'm just more intrigued how it's going to look. Five minutes later. Now, I was looking out for one thing in particular. Let's see if you have or yeah. haven't drawn it in the picture. So I'm going for it with, you know, I've gone for what I deem as a classic monkey. I've already drawn it. Uh, yeah, I know, but I've wrote something on here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've gone for what I deem as a, your classic cartoon monkey. And, but yeah, yeah, that's why. Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, Farrell, please tell me that. <laughs> please tell me that's a tail. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it you is. want to hold it up to the camera? It is definitely a tail. <laughs> definitely no wonder he looks so happy. Definitely. <laughs> This, this is disturbing for a couple of reasons. One, that doesn't look like a tail, and two, it looks like he's wearing a ski mask. Oh, so really open two words, and Ro, you've drawn him exactly as he should look. Well, weirdly enough, you are closer. The thing I was looking out for was whether or not he had a tail. Many, many people would have drawn Courage George uh. with a tail. He never had one. He bloody does. If I'd got to that he part... No, he doesn't! He bloody does. If, if, no, he doesn't! He bloody does. He doesn't! He That's does. the Mandela effect! I've seen the cartoon! Well, Google it off. Google it now! Keep your, where's your phone? He's in the other room. <laughs> Does his eyes look like that? I, I'm just that, 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 that's what I've really emphasised. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's that's not far off from what I remember. I really, all I, really I know for sure. Pick. All I know for sure is that he does not have a tail. Flower. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a tail. That is the Mandela effect, part three. Remember, as I said, I, I there's two question. other parts. Yes. If we look this up right now, or you know, very quickly after we stop filming, and. Or you like to and I'm wrong. Uh, no, 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 I'm not on your. But it's very clear that he does not have a tail. I'm not watching that book. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, you've already watched it three times. And it's your turn to it's start the journey. It's not my turn. It's a, it's a, it's not. It's a very fulfilling experience. I didn't start this as a competition, so no, I, I'm not going to end it as a competition. Oh, would you have drawn him without a tail if it was a competition? No. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> What the hell is he doing? Like? <laughs> oh. 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 Show me his tail! I, 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 there! Right there! No, it's not! It it's a shadow of a tail. There is no tail. There never was a tail. Foul. I, I would say, people, remember your childhoods. <laughs> he had a tail. But this is my point. That is the Mandela effect. Some people remember things a certain way, other people don't. Which is why when you comment below and tell me I'm wrong, it's just the Mandela effect. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment below, all that jazz. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.